Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Night Your Professional Walkthrough Channel. A channel run by me, your host Max, a guy who loves games and currently there is the Steam Summer Sale. So if you are looking for new titles to dive into, you have the chance to get them with a potential discount. This game was released I believe two days before the sale has come online. And it's currently discounted by like 10%, so it's uh, around 18 bucks or 18 euros, so it's not that much. The game consists of multiple factors. One is that you keep diving into the ocean, where you keep catching fish, collecting resources. And then there's the surface part, where you run a sushi shop, try to upgrade your tools and become better diver, interact with people, try to serve customers. So it, it does have that appeal of certain games where you are like just one more thing and I'll be done. But we're gonna see how I will be doing in this. And who knows, maybe I will be even able to make some additional fun content from this if I will understand how the game works. So let's jump into it, have some fun, and uh, let's see what's waiting for us. Oh Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, you can discuss that later. We can discuss that later. Sorry. I heard you took a break from diving. How about a warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Sushi bar by the blue hole. Terrible name for an ocean, but okay. So we control this by WASD and we dive with space. A sushi bar by the hole. Murray Eel has a long something and I wasn't able to finish because, well, I'm running this off M.2 SSD. Nice form. <laughs> All right, how about 
we try stretching out a little oh. bit. Try my moving to the marked oh. area. With left shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. So we do have oxygen consumption over here. It seems like we have, what, 88 seconds? Oh. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as freshwater oh. snail. Now let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survive knife on small fish, you can use the left mouse. I'm literally trying to catch fish with a knife. Okay, whatever, smooth and quick. You haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? Harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do I aim first and then, uh... Hmm, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with left mouse and fire with right mouse. Now try it yourself. Whoa, that's some matrix type stuff. Okay, I would probably try to... Crap catch like a variety of fish sea goldie you yeah, okay uh, I think I just killed Nemo <laughs> I think that should get you back on track in no time all right come up back to the boat we can't eat Nemo at sushi bar come on <laughs> Okay, now that you've gotten the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? <laughs> For sure. That's soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. <laughs> well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left a business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and sli slight temper, but he has one skill that I guarantee is unmatched in the world. <laughs> It's right here that I started a restaurant, my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Haha, <laughs> I bet. So, why don't you just join in this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about, the restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't that sound bad, right? Okay, let's accept it. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay though. Can't wait to check this out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to be open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> Press space, okay? Sushi! I'm not really sure if I'll be able to upgrade the boat or something, but we'll see. Hey, Pancho! We'll, are we all ready to open up? As you can see, it's just in time. Oh! It's already finished. But you, are you the fisherman Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is that that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Okay. An earthquake? Hmm, the interior is already quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. 
In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? That won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and uh, the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, won't that decrease the sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with m meticulous precision. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone, you will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. So, how do I go f get fish? It seems Bancho is re really passionate about his work. Hey. He may not talk personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. Okay. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Okay, I guess I have to go and catch some fish. I need to make gold, and I need to catch fish. And I have... How many 80-something seconds to do so? I don't think there will be like air pockets because you have the oxygen tank and so the oxygen tank is gonna limit your capability. But what is that? Well, a piece of lumber, probably debris from a wreckage. Okay, I'll take it. What is this? Ooh, there's a chest with something. Let's go pick it up. Maybe that's that gold that I'm supposed to get. I'm really interested to see if we will need to get some sort of cheap Japanese sword. Okay. I'm really interested if we will have to... Uh, trying to get the ankle to catch this big... Oh, come on. Catch this damn shrimp? Why not? Okay, it's not really letting me catch the shrimp. That's interesting. Maybe it will get destroyed or something. Oh yeah, the one thing which I was wondering about is if I'll need to actually upgrade my suit before I'll be able to dive deeper. Ah, it hurts! I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. So what do I do then? Can I... No, that won't do the trick. Okay, we have lionfish. Now, lionfish is poisonous, but can be consumed. Okay, some sort of mini game. Trying to hold it. Nice. Okay, so it seems like if they have this red marker, they can become hostile. And it seems like I will need to hit these suckers multiple times in order to reel them in. So I will apologize if you can see uh, here my mechanical keyboard. Okay, there seems to be something else. Still have 50 something seconds. And it seems like we're reaching the critical depth. I just picked up soy sauce. Interesting. Let's see what else is there. There seems to be some wood. I do wonder how much capacity do I have. I was too far. Nice. Okay, some of these are able to be reeled in much more easier running out of air we still have like 20 something seconds though so i need to catch the fish now oh come on 
Oh my god, there's like a marine eel. I cannot apparently do stuff with that fish, so that sucks. Come on, come on, I want that big fish. I still need to catch one more. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> if you exceed your weight limit, you can uh, you will slow down. If you exceed even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. We have 20 seconds. Should be able to reach the surface. Not really sure where to check my inventory capacity yet. Oh my god, there's jellyfish. I'm quite sure we don't want to mess with that. I'm gonna need to fetch some sea turtles. They are the only creatures that can eat actually jellyfish. Interesting fact, if you didn't know. Okay, return to the boat. I do wonder what happens if you screw up the dive and if you would not manage to get to the surface. Do you have to restart the whole day or what's the pro protocol? Alright, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> Mama, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Okay. So, time, 3 minutes, depth 42 meters, caught 8 fish, obtained 3. Okay, we... Mediterranean parrotfish, I'm not really sure what that's doing here, but okay. This is almost reminding me like One Piece, where they re re referenced the, the blue sea, or what was it called, where all the oceans or seas met in one place and all the fish were able to be caught in that one location. I'm not really sure if they ever managed to get there. I stopped watching One Piece ages ago, and now that Netflix is trying to do it, I'm, I'm not really sure what to think of it, but we're gonna see what's up. So we have two red lionfish, we have blue tang, we have rainbow grass, and we have the Mediterranean parrotfish. From those, we're gonna get quite a lot of meat, I think, and we were able to get one soy sauce. Okay, I was able to wrap up your day and get things going. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts. Okay. Sushi. Why would you point the searchlights like at the boat and not in front of the boat? Okay. So, Bacho, how are the preparations coming along? I see. Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that you would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is here for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay, ingredients. Here you can check your fish. Crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay. We have... Stuff. Alright, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Menu? New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that at the menu. Okay, so... Clownfish. Alright, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat. Only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. 
Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay, manage, add ingredients, no. Uh, auto supply, we don't have clownfish. Let's swap it for blue tank sushi. Add, now we're gonna go with the Mediterranean parrotfish. And now we're gonna add in the lionfish. what else a green tea and uh, I'm not really gonna mess with norimaki okay so we have uh, four dishes that we can serve multiple times okay how long are you going to stand here talking give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Ooh. No, only soft drinks, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Ask for the right amount. Okay, I held it for probably not good enough time, but okay. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. <laughs> As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Hmm, the tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Okay, wait until the cooking is done. Come over here and take this food. Okay. You can dash when serving food. Use shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Where is my stamina? Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Ooh. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. <laughs> Bacho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Ooh. Well, alright. Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for a customer in a while. Kinda nervous. <laughs> Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Well, we'll see. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Let's open up the sucker. We're gonna see how this is gonna work. Quite a lot of people. Okay, so mount. Nice. We have this dish. I have this dish. I need to go serve this customer. This guy over there. Run! Run, guy! Holy crap, he's gonna do so much cardio. This is for you. Nobody seems to want tea. I'm gonna serve this customer first because she was here longer. I think our wasabi is running out. Run, Forrest, run! still have a few more dishes that can be prepared. And we almost made 100 gold. Bancho Sushi is now officially closed.
Top sales, red lionfish sushi. Nice. Today's score, really nice. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. We were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Uh, well, that can be good. Okay, that, that can be good, definitely. Release the Kraken. We're starting on Saturday. Interesting. Okay, so we have a call from Ali. Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I was expecting more professional looking guy. You're, you're calling me, how do you know how I look? Is this like FaceTime? What's what's going on? I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like you to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask just for one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing, I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry, don't dally. Okay. New content, smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current mission and more. Okay, great. I'm turning into a person who can't let go of their phone. We have Cobra, we have Bacho, emails, uh, get 10% discounts, okay. Uh, to do, repair, sushi, red ecological data. What do I need? I need 100 gold. I need two of these, Agar, and two of these. I don't think I'll be able to dive into 130 meters depth, but okay. Weather! It's gonna be sunny, 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 right? Mini games, calculator, album. I'm gonna be taking selfies underwater? Okay. Uh, let's go and dive, I guess. So, certain fish was selling for better price, but I'm not always guaranteed to find said fish. There seems to be some seaweed, maybe with the knife I can harvest this. And there seems to be some starfish in here, but that's orange starfish. Reel it in. You got this. Yellow black, yellow yellow back fusilier. You got this. You got this. You got this. Uh, we can only carry nine kilos. Okay. Please, I understand the damn metrics in here. So that's awesome. Some weird hammer. Okay. I'll definitely have to keep an eye out on fish. Whoa, there's a popper fish. I don't think I'll be able to... get 
get the buffer guy while he's buffed up. Let's go after the chest then. Okay. I have obtained some boost. The harpoon does not go. That far. Okay. Wow, this thing runs out quite fast. Out of energy. Whoa, what is that? It's like copper or something. Copper ore. Damn. Interesting. Okay, at this range, the fish is still alive? How is that even possible? My aim is gonna have to improve quite significantly if I want to actually cook these. Oh, wow. I want the big guy. I want the big guy. Come on. Not the small one. The big guy. I do see that there are these things which I need to harvest. But I want the big fish. Do you know how much sushi I must be able to make from this? Come on! Oh my god, what is this harpoon made out of? How much damage can this sucker take? I'm gonna spend the whole day trying to catch the parrotfish, or what's it called? Seriously? Come on! This fish is now starting to look like freaking wheel of cheese. So many holes must be in its body, it's not even funny. Gotta be able to catch this sucker. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'll need to have stuff for the menu. Come on. Come on, Dave. You can do it. Make me happy. Make me proud. Oh, crap. That seems to be hostile. Can we cook it? Wait, I don't get it. So... I'm able to shoot it with the harpoon. But when I shoot it with the harpoon, it's trying to swim away. Come on! Yeah, Titan Tigerfish. I gotta be able to catch this sucker, come on. I'm already overcumbered, but I am hoping. I really wanna catch this freaking thing. You, you gotta be kidding me, right? I'm exerting myself so much. Totally overcumbered. Come on. Eat. Boy. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm gonna bash this keyboard in. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, uh, how do I check my inventory? Uh, seriously, how the hell do I check my inventory? Guys? I want to check my inventory. How do I do that? Inventory. Tab. Inventory. I don't know how to check my inventory. That's some bullshit. I don't want to leave this thing in here. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna die here. Okay, I'm dying here because I'm stubborn. It's a game over.
Uh, not good. So what does this mean? I have to redo the whole day. I've lost everything. Dave, this giant blue hole looks uh, infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. Okay, so that sucks. No fish caught? What the shit? I don't know. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Hmm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Yeah. Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you get a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Hey, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, what? That wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Professional diver who just drowned. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Mm. People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd like to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. They call him the name of a beer from Simpsons? Hmm, season two of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I'll actually discover a fascinating giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology inside. It changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest. As weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. <laughs> Dave. You'll have to prove yourself as a diver to master Duff, to this master Duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay. Well, I unfortunately lost both the freaking uh, seaweeds and the red star, which I needed for the researcher, so that's not good. The first thing I'll try to upgrade is the oxygen tank. But we need to first make money to fix the sushi bar. Or restaurant, sorry. So, there's the starfish. This is a dead end. I cannot collect the shrimp. Don't know why. Kind of annoying. Jellyfish, I want to be careful about that. Let's pick up the copper. And uh, this already is affecting my carrying capacity, so I have to be careful. There's rope, which we need. There's a chest, there's a tank of oxygen. So I'll take the cheap Japanese sword. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Why is it that every fish needs to be reeled in like this? Long fish. Okay. Ooh, that's an interesting species. Wonder if it will work or not. 
Oh, oh my god, this harpoon needs an upgrade ASAP as well. It's ridiculous how little damage I'm doing to these fish, and therefore I need to keep hitting them multiple times, and it seems more like a torture for the fish. There seems to be some predatory species beneath me. Okay, it's lionfish. Lionfish was actually quite profitable. So... I will probably not mess with the giant parrotfish. And it's named that because of the beak it has. I'll definitely want this guy. I think I'll need to... Oh, come on. And where do I see, like, my HP bar or something? Come on. I cannot carry more stuff. I'm running low on oxygen. There was that tank of oxygen. I'm not sure if I'll make it, though. Because I'm overcumbered. If I'll be able to tap into that oxygen tank, I'll be okay. And because I'm a stubborn idiot, I have to try it again. It's a gamble. But the gamble just saved my ass. We're overcumbered as is. So the only thing which I would probably look for right now is the uh, seaweed. Okay, and scrap iron. It's kind of tricky and we're reaching critical depth. If I reach probably this zone, it's the escape pod location. I'll try to look for it. We do have the additional time thanks to the oxygen tank. That has literally doubled my time down here. Uh, I do see the Mray eel. There we go. Scrap metal. We have the booster. And now we can make it to the surface. Even though we are overcumbered. I don't know how to check my inventory though. That's something which I'll need to learn because I want to be able to change the items in my inventory if I have to. Kind of pissed about the previous dive that I lost all those things. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I ex I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I've given you a reward as promised since you helped me do the research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. We received 70 gold, 5 olive oil, and 5 soy sauce. Nice. Well, to think you actually managed to bring it back, I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. Okay. Uh, weapon Shop. Craft. Okay, new weapon, basic underwater rifle. 
Nice. Ha, <laughs> with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapons chests on water. Whoa, weapons chests! You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but uh, I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. Whatever that means. So we have weapon shop. Sniper rifle. Grenade launcher underwater? What? You can craft weapons. <laughs> oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. I don't think we will have too much sushi today. I do wonder, however, how much meat can we sell out of a Titan Tiger fish? I'm still pissed about the, the parrot fish though. So we have long fish, we have black and white snapper, we have red tooth trigger fish, we have red lion fish, and Titan trigger fish. Oh my god, this thing is only one sushi? What? No! Wrap up your day and get things ready for the sushi place. I'll have to go and mess around with the menu again. So our ingredients, we have all sorts of funky stuff, including oil, oil and this. I have no idea how to use it. We have some seaweed. And unfortunately, I don't have new things. So menu. We need to add stuff. Uh, enhance. Enhancement. Ingredient used for enhancement will disappear. Okay. Uh, sure. Enhance. Now, I'm not really sure with what I'm enhancing these. Is it the soy sauce? Let's add in whatever I can. Unfortunately, not that much fish has been caught due to the snag I experienced. Let's enhance the uh, lionfish. I don't seem to be able to. That sucks. I think that's all we can do. Uh, it's not really too much. I'm counting four, seven, eight meals. That's really bad. That one loss of fish has really cost me a lot. Okay, let's see who's gonna show up. And if they want some green tea. Bacha's gonna make the sushi. Well, we don't have that many things, unfortunately, so you'll have to... Be happy with what I can dish out. Good. Serving. This is for you. This is for you. This is all the way at the end. Holy fudge. The sushi is gonna be done soon. And let's pour some tea. Good serving. Come on, bud. Okay. I think this is that more valuable piece. Oh, 
go on. Okay, I have to clean up. Great. Don't really have that many options. Probably would be a little upset if I would come to sushi place and they would tell me that there's no food left. Okay, we have even some money in our pocket. Close for the day. Good job, man. Good job. Artisan's Flame. Nice. Mondays. Who doesn't love a good Monday, huh? Oh my god, I thought that's him snoring. Are you Dave by any chance? Dr. Bacon. Yes? What is it, sir? Wow, well, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization. Sea People civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky? You have an expert like me to tell you all about them. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People civilization live in legends. They are said to be something. Their worship fish have gills allowing them to live underwater. They live in depths allowing them to flourish without any concern of invasion. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt something. That's about all the story. And everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that can turn the whole ac academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed the artifact found nearby and found that it's from a known civilization. From no known civilization, sorry. It's dated to around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out as he would be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh, my assistant told me that the artifacts were found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go and take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... Haha, <laughs> sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. <laughs> what? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If we... If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Hmm, mm, I suppose you have a point. Alright, I'll help. Haha, <laughs> isn't that lucky? Oh, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade your diving suit you're wearing for free. Whoa. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. Oh, yeah, yeah. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, huh? Yeah. Let's first install the iDiver app to the phone before we proceed. Okay, so... iDiver. Oh, yeah. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll install an app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay, and we need to go for what? Depth limit 80 meters. Upgrade. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. I don't think it's the neoprene suit that allows you to go deeper, but sure. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch, Dr. Bacon. Okay, I want to go and take a look if I can upgrade at least the oxygen tank. You should have 150 in the bank. And it costs 65. 
so I'll upgrade this and I want to upgrade also the cargo. So now I should be able to carry 19 kilos. That's nice. But giving me a larger oxygen tank is also going to help because reaching that depth is going to take some time. And that will require some oxygen to be consumed. And I still have to figure out how to get the sea urchin. Okay, so there's some wood. I'll eventually probably find out what I'll need this for. There's even a blueprint case for weapons. Equipment upgrade, so we can upgrade the basic rifle. There's a treasure chest. I'll definitely need to upgrade the harpoon gun. Because that will put less of a damage to the fish. And I'll be able to harvest the meat faster. There's the rope. There's our predatory species. And it's too damn far. hits so far three I'm trying to put some distance between me and the species as well or the fish as well come on you can do it okay nice there's some ammo I do want at least one of the lionfish They're coming two at the same time, it's gonna be tricky. I'll have to put some distance between me and them. Because what happens if I'll be reeling in one of them and the other one is able to close in the distance? Okay. We at least know that those lionfish sell well. Ammo box, okay. There's another blueprint for gun. Tranquilizer harpoon. Interesting. I'm really sure what I'll need these for, but I can take them. I need to reach the depth of 70 meters. So far, I haven't really caught that many fish, huh? Maybe a new recipe? Soy sauce! We'll take the soy sauce. Maybe we'll be able to enhance some sushi. Whoa, is that a grouper? Wow, that fish is like sleeping or something. Can I reel him in? Doesn't seem to want to. Come on. Come on, how much more? We even have the tranquilizer harpoon installed and... Okay, now we're at... Wait, why did the upgrades like not work? Like, I should be able to haul 19 kilos, right? Whoa, what is that? That looks cool. I think I found a T-Rex skull. There's an oxygen tank. Seaweed, something, something. I do want the oxygen. Pink seashell. idea what lead okay we cannot carry more that sucks but we have a full whoa there's so many things squid is here I bet we can make some sweet sushi with that unfortunately I'm carrying just way too much stuff 
I really don't understand why isn't the, the suit uh, allowing me to upgrade now more stuff since I'm able to dive deeper. And I will probably rather swim because I'm not sure if using the, uh, what you call it, the escape pod will not only allow me to bring out one thing. I was able to get the upgrade for the harpoon, so it's now tranquilizing the fish, but I don't think that will last permanently. So after the second dive, I think we will be back to using just a regular harpoon. It will take some time to learn all these mechanics. Whoa, there's another bl blueprint. I swear to God, it feels like this place has changed or it's because I have been like uh, going down by the second side of the cliff. Okay, now we have like a shock harpoon or something. Interesting. So I should have quite a lot of stuff. Dusky grouper. We have some relics. We have lead. I was able to reach the depth of 72 meters. I was able to obtain 12 out of 11 something. I have a uh, Titan uh, Trigger Fish, Red Lion Fish, and Dusky Grouper. Nice. A Red Lion Fish I'll be able to make the most out of. I have one Soy, uh, three Agar, and one Kelp. Hello. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Hello. Let's head to the restaurant. But I have one more dive for today. Come on. Mm. It looks nice again, though. Wow, it looks really nice. <laughs> it doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. <laughs> ah, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so please check it. You can mess around with the interior. I kind of like the fact that behind you see all these islands and the sea. That's awesome. <laughs> Ah, but as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come but This area is kind of remote, so I think I will need a way to advertise the store until mm. then. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to track customers without publicity. Mm. Ah, have you tried the social media app named Hoopsta? Mm. You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Hmm. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Boncho? You have a point there. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. Your first register and make your hashtag Bancho Sushi, then done! Hmm, well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now, customers happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cookstill app on my phone and check the followers' posts. So, we need to check the Cooksta application. Cooksta! I, I don't even have Instagram, and now I'm being forced to make something that's like uh, a mix of what? Uh, Twitter and Instagram? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be bad! <laughs> Rank up bronze. 10 followers. Do we have followers? How do I know how we have followers? Rank up, uh, recipes, menu slots, kitchen staff, wasabi amount. I, I don't know how to upgrade it, but okay. Bancho Sushi. This is how you take a profile picture? It's hard. Let's take a look at the interior. Owned and owned. Uh, I like this look. This one would cost me money, which I don't have, so let's stick with this one. Do we want to time skip? Or how do I go to the... Things are looking good. If you want to change a different style, try changing it in the interior menu. Shouldn't I be able to still go diving today? I should be able to go get more fish, right? 
Twice a day you should be able to dive. Let's go get me some more fish. Ooh, mackerel. Spanish mackerel on top of it. Oh, a dolphin! I don't think we can make dolphin into sushi. Huh? A dolphin? Hmm, seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? Okay, let's try to go with the dolphin. Maybe it's gonna lead me to something interesting. Or maybe it's gonna waste my time. Everything is possible at this point. Just have to make sure to not hit it with the harpoon or something. There's oxygen. There's blueprints. So if I'll get an upgrade for something, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see you. I see you. I do want to be able... To, oh my god, they they caught the little baby in the... A big dolphin is caught in the net. So they're asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. How do I cut the net? Never heard of a pink dolphin. But the problem is the dolphin would drown because dolphins are mammals and they need oxygen. Despite the fact that they have better lung capacity, it seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins have mates. Okay, nice. I think we found a pearl. Interesting. There's a bunch of stuff here. I'll take this. Still don't know what the woods are used for. I'll have to catch and cook something. But not like this, that's for sure. But if the fish is dumb enough to come back, come on. Then I'll at least have something to cook. Oh, come on. I, I screwed that one up, huh? Ah, oh, come on. Don't rush it. Try to channel your inner John Wick. I know that's impossible, but I'll try. Come on. Come on. Nice. Grab the kelp. This, I think we already sold the fish like this. Holy crap, that's a shark. That's a shark shark. But I don't know if that's a Mako shark or what, what is that? Oh my god, I cannot even like harm this guy. shark can I it seems I can harvest a shark nice question is if I can shoot even this guy and then try to harvest the meat because I have been kind of struggling with that I I, mean, I still have like four kilos that I can Try to bring back home. There's an oxygen tank. Man, that I'm just torturing this fish at this point. Oh come on! You can do it. Make me proud, Dave. This time we got that sucker. 11 kilos, okay, we're reaching the limit. We are over our limit. 
Uh, still haven't reached the depth which was requested by the professor. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any more fish. I was trying to get rid of this guy. be able to outswim him there's that so i'll be able to grab like a soy 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 sauce soy soy come on fudge there's two of them i don't want to die i don't know how, what's my hp but i'll need to return to the boat I was not able to pick up even the oxygen from that tank. That's most unfortunate. White tip reef shark, 210 centimeters. That's two meters, uh, over two meters. Nice. Nice, nice. I do wonder what I do with all this other junk though. So we have five fillets from the shark and we have green hump head parrotfish you see it's called parrotfish and we get 10 fillets from that sucker that is awesome and we have even the hat from the shark it's weird usually people go for like the fence it's already evening i feel stiff even so bancho's working alone i should probably help it's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in not enough workers wrap up your day and get things ready Wait, does this mean that they're gonna be already starting the service? Is that the food inspector or health inspector? Okay. This is Bacho Sushi Place, huh? Hmm. Miss Yoshi. I came to because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me a pause, but to think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. Uh, Hecky turn, but masculine chef. Wow, do they mention me too? No, not really. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? For various reasons, I wanted to check on your restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again? What the customers fall for judging the food without even trying it? How long will you continue treating customers that way? Mm. To keep making the terrible food. <laughs> what do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Okay. Shark has been used in cuisine in both West and East. And in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop, you're not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then. Whether it's food fit for consumption, then I can tell you why I came. Find it, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Bajo, this isn't development. What? Isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get. Get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. Oh. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? I just did that. <laughs> yes. With your skills, it should be easy enough to do. <laughs> but a harpoon not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into the battle. <laughs> Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. <laughs> do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? <laughs> The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. What? Far to the right? What kind of... What? <laughs> this... He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous. And it can't only be killed with a gun? 
I'll have to ask Doc to make me a gun or search for one in Blue Hole. Wait, but I already brought one shark like that. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. Okay, so research. Um, you can now research new recipes. Use the artisan flame to expand your menu. Uh, okay, artisan flame will be used to research new bonuses. think they put black pepper on sushi but okay uh, hold on we, we cannot start yet I need to set up the menu it's not that easy being cheesy um, so menu we need to add some stuff I think I'll have to add this and then we can go for the carrot thingy You don't really have to go all salt bay on the meats. I think it's quite disgusting what he does. But okay, it's my personal opinion, probably. So we have the shark. And then what else do we have? We can enhance this guy. But I feel like when I enhance these meals, I'm losing the quantity. So, if I enhance it, I get more money for it, but I, I can only put so many of these meals on the menu. We don't have more of the meat or something. So I'll just put this guy. How many of these do I have though? Five, two and three. I really need to get like more things on the menu. I love the music. Okay, so he's already cooking the head. I'm not sure how that's using the so wasabi, but sure. Huh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. Okay. This turned into anime really fast. How do you like it? It's good, it's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. It's is it ginger? The ginger scent mixed with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. <laughs> Pardon me, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings stated that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it, this is good. You passed, Boncho. Let me tell you while I'm here then, this restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go at it alone, Bancho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. 
Okay. Quite the eventful start hired employees to reduce the workload. Employees help share food in dining area or make cooking food faster. Okay. Um, let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Okay, hiring. Select. Press flyer to begin the hiring. Fire add. Recruit staff. Okay, fire add in progression. Fire add. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Okay, I'll have to go and start serving people. Nobody wants tea, goddammit! Wow, so many sh shark heads. I'll go serve the tea in the meantime. Good amount, good amount. We can only carry one dish at a time. What's first? I'll give it to this person because they are further away. Run! Run, big guy! Okay, we're gonna pour that tea. Ah, crap, I overpowered. Okay, she's at least not angry. But we're starting to push the patience of some of our patrons a little too much. So it's not gonna be probably perfect score. Still have some more dishes which can be served. Is that it? But does that mean that if we don't use all the uh, sushi, we're gonna be able to, I don't know, maybe uh, use it the next day? Or is that also being thrown out? That's what I don't know. That profit is quite nice. The shark head definitely did make an impact. Don't you think of it, it's already been around 8 years that we've known each other. I was having fun diving back then near Richelieu Rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase, uh, suitcase that fell off the boat. <laughs> I thought it was real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer and there were important blueprints in the suitcase. Luckily you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindemann without the blueprints. Hans Lindemann? Oh, I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. I, I don't think we knew that he was selling weapons. Uh, we can upgrade the rifle. Or do I need to craft it or what's going on? I'm slightly confused. We already own one. Diver. Uh, harpoon gun. Damage 10. 300. I think I need to go for it. Although, if I go for more air and more cargo, it'll be... I... I go for the harpoon gun upgrade. Can't be help. How about cook stuff? Do, do we have... Uh... Oh, we still don't have enough followers. Okay. I hopefully have the upgraded harpoon or I'll be mad if I don't. Ooh, tuna. I think that's tuna. No, it's Trevally. I do wonder if I'll be able to fetch another shark. Or some big fish. We're told that the sharks can be found on the right of the map. So that to me says that I need to go and explore that portion. We have an upgrade for this. I don't really want to pick up wood right now because I don't know what's to use for and I was able to pick up quite a lot of it before. Oxygen tank by the surface is uh, okay. 
probably would appreciate it if it would be a little deeper. But because we have two dives available, I should be able to bring over a whole bunch of stuff. Including this big ass fish. Okay, it's definitely frying up this guy a whole lot more. And with the electric shock attack attachments, I feel like we're doing a whole lot more damage than before. Oh crap, there's a lot of you. If I'm not ruining the quality of the meat. Okay, uh, here's our shark. Okay, so it seems like this guy has to be straight up shot. And I'm out of bullets. Which is not good. Any bullets around here? Yes. Where's the shark? Did it swim back? Where is it? So far, I haven't really caught that many fish. Where did that knucklehead go off to? Seriously, where is the damn shark? Something to enhance our meals. Some copper. Don't, don't ask, I don't know. I have to be careful about the moray eel. Oxygen capsule. Where the hell did that shark go to? Not the right angle. I'll have to change. He's gonna charge. And that's when he's gonna die. So if I'll be able to cook up the shark head, that'll be great. I have even picked up some shark tooth. I'll pick up the oxygen now. I wasn't really able to do it previously because I was being chased by all the fish. Parrotfish. I still want to get this guy. Let's take a look at what's over here and there's even copper. Bunch of lionfish. I do wonder how much I can push this... Uh, Overcumbrance limit before it's too bad. I know we're at 20 kilos, it must be quite ridiculous. I wasn't even able to pick up that lionfish, which sucks. So, question is if I'll be truly able to do anything with this guy. I cannot really interact with my inventory or the game is not really letting me to do anything like that. So that sucks. I wasn't really sure how much over the weight limit I can go. It seems like 7 kilos is the top. But uh, hey, at least we brought another shark. So I should be able to dive once more. So I picked up a bunch of stuff, including a lot of copper. Uh, lionfish, cardinal fish, titan, white tip. Okay, that works. And we have again the reef shark head and black vinegar even. Hmm. 
Is that Ash Ketchum? Hoppity hop. You do you know a lot about Giant Blue Hole? Well, I'm not sure what to say, Dad. It's different in in there every time. Yes, that's it. It's best place to collect Marinka. I could complete my collection in this place. Haha. <laughs> Marinka? What? Well, don't tell me you don't know the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards, Marinka. How can you not have heard of futuristic trading card that utilizes AI recognition system that automatically corresponds to fish in real life? Uh, never heard of them. It sounds fun though. You seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. My god, my phone is full of so many apps now. So to do this, then press here, then touch that, add a friend, <laughs> done! Uh, okay, so what do I do now? <sighs> the amazing thing about these Marinkas is you don't really need to do anything special. Okay. Just catch a new fish and you'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. <laughs> you tell me this after I catch a shark? I'm quite sure I won't have that shark in my catalog. I see, I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. <laughs> That's right, it's almost like a... Whoa, you don't want to be saying the name. I understand, I'll try it out. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. The guy looks slightly like a monkey, almost. What the hell have they done to Ash Ketchum? I'll give you a contact info, so hit me up if you have questions. See you then, Choo Choo. Catching fish will allow you to automatically acquire marine cards. You'll get fancier cards for catching higher grade fish. Sure, I guess. Where's this marinka? So it's starting to show already species which I was able to catch. Is there the shark? There should be the shark. How do I scroll down? Okay, shark. Whoa, there's a lot of fish. It seems like there's even a swordfish. Different types of... Am I gonna make a sea turtle soup? A dolphin? Is that a whale? That's definitely shark. Shark, sea urchin. Is that a catfish? Okay. Well, there's still a bunch of fish and a bunch of sharks. Even the yellow fin tuna. Nice. So, I guess we need to go dive one more time. And hopefully this time, I'll be able to acquire uh, the depth of 70 meters and find the damn artifact. To the right. Well, the, the studio behind this game did a really amazing job so far. This game is really pretty. And with all the mini games, it does suck you in. Ooh. Picking up new weapons will allow you to collect blueprints. When you reach a certain number of blueprints, you'll be able to craft new weapons. catch a lionfish with like one shot so that's already quite impressive okay I want to make sure that I bring over as much fish as I can so this salvage will have to stay for a while let's try to reach that depth of 70 meters and see if we can find that thing for the professor oh maybe I can catch a squid Okay, that's most unfortunate. 
Oh, W A. Interesting. What the heck? I want you. I don't understand why it's like. What the hell is this mini game? W D. They keep changing this stuff. It's really pissing me off. A D. It's always different. A A. Okay, that was easier, I guess. I'm at the 70 meter depth. There's oxygen. I have the scooter to help me get a slight boost. Glass, again, some sort of relic. Again, it's just a skull. I feel like I've came to the same place again. I can stop this feeling. Even the lead deposit is the same, and the two seaweeds over here. So I'm not really sure what has changed, but this location definitely seems the same. Is it that potentially there's like a rotation of uh, certain floors or... Come on. And we're already overcumbered. Which is not good. Last time I was able to like go to this... Wait. Okay, I think I came across what I was looking for. But unfortunately, I cannot pick it up. Ain't that something. So I guess I'll have to go to the surface then. I'll have to fetch the relic next time. I'm really kind of mad that I cannot really access the inventory. I'm, I'm literally pressing everything on my keyboard to try and find how the hell to access it. Yeah, it won't uh, accept any more fish. So this is more like a shotgun type thing. Still have oxygen over here, but I think I'll make it to the surface. I'm not really sure what fish have I caught, though. I really hope we're gonna have enough. I do know that I did catch the shark, but I'll definitely have to come back and get the relic for the professor. I'll have to upgrade my carry capacity, but eventually with these upgrades, you're gonna reach like the maximum at where you can go with the depth of your suit, with the oxygen and the, with the cargo hold. Triple axle. So I think I'll need to find the blueprint one more time. I do wonder if these things do ever make money. So we have red lion fish, striper red mullet, we have cuttlefish, and we have dusky grouper. I'm not really sure how you get fillets out of cuttlefish, but okay, I don't judge. Yeah, we're going to Bancho. Uh, well, there's an application for Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. This is pretty nice resume you have here. Uh, cooking 14, serving 35, uh, procured 15, appeal 21. Let's hire this person right away. Okay, cost is zero. I guess we're gonna take Kyoko. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hard staff must be placed. 
Staff can be placed in kitchen or at dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly and to your dining area to serve food more quickly. As for our first staff, let's try dining area assignment for now. I think that should be enough to go on for now. I'm starting to be obvious, but things will get through without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Okay. Uh, so we have one extra servant. We have to go into the ingredients to see what do we have. I don't really know if the fish from the previous days has stayed with me or not. But okay. So let's go into research. I don't think we can research anything. And let's go into the menu to add stuff. Uh... Or what do we want to add? I would probably go for things where we can... This is already level 2. I can enhance it to level 3. So we're going above and beyond. really sure what sushi chef does that but i'll take it so we have our third level dish officially on the menu so let's go with that it will give us 16 uh this one will give me 53 if I enhance this to the higher level, yeah, I cannot because we don't have enough uh, heads. Dusky Grouper, let's go with this one because just the basic version of it will give me 22 gold per serving. Uh, Shark is 24. If I enhance you, it's 31. It's going to consume quite a lot. So I think I might try to wait until I have more of the shark. And what else do we have that would make me a decent amount of cash? This is level one. I feel like if I keep enhancing all these meals, uh, eventually when I have more of the fish, I'll be able to sell it for more. I think I'll add the shark head. Because it's gonna give me 53 gold. And let's take a look at Cooksta. Do we have enough followers? No. So I cannot upgrade in order to add more meals to the menu. So we have three, three, five. Okay. Let's open it up. I'm not gonna be skipping time. Why would I skip time? Mm -hmm. Start pouring. <laughs> nice. I'll have to learn how to time this. They really do wonder if she's gonna serve anyone. <laughs> If I'm closer, she's gonna do the job. So let's see, I'll try to let her take the next meal and I'll take the one after. And I'll have to wipe the place. Okay, I'll let her serve. Okay, bronze has been acquired, and with that, boiled the yellow back fuseler, salt grilled red tooth triggerfish, agar toko torin, 
Seasoned Kajime. Nice. Menu slot plus one. Kitchen staff plus one. Wasabi amount plus one. Added interior plus ten. Loving it. Okay, it seems like pouring of the tea is gonna be up to me though. But which works because in the meantime she can serve meals. So I hope I'll get perfect pour again. I'll take the shark head. Wow, she's fast. There you go. Wow, she's actually able to serve a whole lot more people than I am. I guess being fit does pay off. Let's take a look at the profit. Whoa! 369, that's awesome. Oh, it's rainy day. I wonder how that's going to affect things. I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire some employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you management app which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. That sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. So, I guess I'll have to watch out for my profits and expenses. Yeah, because if... Wow, ex uh, seals of 4,541. That sounds amazing. Makes me wonder how... How freaking much... I'll need to make or what fish I'll need to catch or how much will the upgrades cost but okay so that's gonna be it for this episode or the intro I managed to drown I managed to reach tier 3 for suits and sushi I really hope you all did enjoy it I had a blast playing this and uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to pick up some games during the summer sale as well and make some fun content. I still want to make 100 days in video games. I still want to do comparison series, but things need to kind of calm down at my work first because that's the way I pay bills right now. And without those, I cannot really make more content. So we'll see how things will work out. But in the meantime, make sure to check out the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't done so yet. And I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I'll see you all in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching, and bye bye for now.